Here's my uh, ON3 Sunset RGS Rear Grand Southern number 20. Okay, with the smoke box cover on and have a listen to the sound. What I'm getting is I'm getting the uh, enclosed part up, up here and the rear part is coming through the back. So the sound waves are coming out through there and they're going to come down the side there. So that's pretty good sound. I'm very happy with that. Removing the uh, weight slug, I had to take the screw out holding the, um, the smokestack and also that helped me get the speaker inside the, um, the front of the smoke box and I can put that in there now later and this, this screw going up in here that's going to clear the speaker so it's important that you've got to do those sort of things just check that your speaker has uh, got the clearance on it there here's my homemade lead tester just a 9 volt battery and on the uh, negative I've got a uh, uh, resistor in there I think 1 or 2k resistor in there something like that that's fine and we can connect up to uh, You come on there and we put that onto there and we've got the lights are on we should get the lights on here we go and there's the lights there that's a 5.1k so uh, they're not too bright on that one there and the other one will be the headlight and that's just um, showing you how I'm doing those each time I uh, do something or other I just check it so uh, there's my fire door flicker so that one's set on turn that one on and off as I want and the other one I've got up there is the um, Grant line HO casting or detail part lampshade and I've uh, just got that glued in there and I've tinted that with Tamiya orange we'll have a look at that next no 603 lead there. I'll just tin it and I'll tin the wire. I'm just going to put these together. There we go, that's on one. So there's one there now. And I'm just going to tin the other side of that one and grab it. Put a wire on. There we go. That's soldering and Hobby King wire onto the lead. I've got a uh, Grant line reflector there that I've tinted with uh, some orange. And I'll just thread this through and get him working. Okay, well, there's a the lead that's on. I'm just using my little 9 volt lead tester with a resistor in line. So there it is there. What I do with these there now. Not easy working with the camera in front of me, it's only a small camera but it works to do the video. If we go around the outside of that, and then we just wipe off the top. So we've got the white and we've got the gold around the outside, the golden glow of the of an old uh, electric lamp and this might probably going to be better if I take the lid off this so I can show you what you can do with with leads there's the glue and get that ring off there that in the bin get some glue up here there's the glue we go straight in uh, glue is not non-conductive so you get the um, you get the yellow on there and that's uh, that can now be fed back onto the lamp and then we have a lamp that's got um, got enough old old era glow in it there to um, to look good inside the cabin 
show you what I've done with this um, speaker. Look at the diameter of it there. Nearly an inch, but uh, millimeters are working. So we've got about 20, 27 millimeters, which is a 27 millimeter high bass speaker, which is available from lots of hobby shops. What I've done, I've had to sand around or grind off some of this metal and then add a um, piece of post-it note that's um, been glued around here with Arlene's glue to uh, to cover the back of it so that it, um, when it goes in I can get uh, some glue all the way around here to seal it. Now the sound waves are really going to come out the back and then down the side of the uh, weight slug so the sound the sound is pretty good but that's how I've done that and just where the the terminals are I've had to sand that down again to get it inside the fit I just put some caps on tape there so the terminals can never touch onto the body which of course will be alive with the uh, right hand rail power I've got to insulate that no need to be afraid for uh, you guys wanting to do it for the first time put a decoder in and that the um, testing I use CVP for my layout but I just got NCE on my workbench that I'm using all the time for doing installs or uh, basic programming that just sits there a couple of leads coming off that goes to the black and the red um, on it there if you had something wrong that's going to uh, boost her in there or shut down uh, so you're safe that way always remember anytime you're soldering you've got to take the leads off so never not with the power on so the wow's there I've uh, cut off the little uh, uh, 220 microfarad capacitor and I put in a KA2. So with a, with a KA2 on this one there, I've got to get uh, program CV182 to a value of 2 when you add, add a KA. That comes with the paperwork in any case, and that's not a big deal, just putting in a CV to fix that one up. But um, that's there now. There's a speaker that's inside that. There's nothing wrong with that sound. There it is, it's in there now. I will put some glue around uh, around the outside of that. I've got to run some wires underneath there at the moment. So I'll get the white wire and the blue wire and the pink wire coming through. So the white, of course, is the headlight. The pink is going to be for the classification markers and uh, the blue will be the common positive. Well, there's the headlight finish. We just put a bit of heat shrink over the... Uh, resistor for the white and the pink wires the blue wires connected up there as well and they're just running in behind the uh, the speaker so that can be all closed up there so that's the front end done there's the keep alive on that side and there's a the wow decoder on this side so the gear tower's got plenty of room to fit inside there and then back there for the motor um, yeah, enough, enough room to fit things in and make it tidy. And there's the lights working on the other end there too. So, all good. Headlight off. Again, just uh, as I go along, I always test. So we need to put the firebox flicker on. And... I've used the yellow, uh, re there's no tender light, so I'm using the yellow and I've got that uh, program to um, uh, be in, on both ways so I can turn on the headlight and um, that puts on the cabin light inside there. There's another little bit that I've done to the loco on the front um, drivers. I put wipers on both sides just to make sure that I'm getting um, regular pickup as much as I can even though I've got the keeper live on board I like uh, adding a little bit of extra wipers here just rubbing on the back uh, wheels here so it's not going to cause any wear or anything so yeah I won't be using the cam I've cut the uh, tan wire off because the wows have got a great um, perfect sound, uh, four strokes for the uh, cylinders 
setting the um, four strokes. Increase it just a little bit more. That's pretty right for four strokes. Okay, we've programmed all that now, so we've now got the four strokes, and that's the true sound that it's going to be.